So welcome back to the post AGI economics community. And this was something that I, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna release this video on YouTube. And if I do release this video on YouTube, this is just gonna be a completely raw video about the reality of, you know, the AI workforce and the coming stuff. But this is a video that I might just keep in the community. But what this video is, is this video is essentially a demonstration on why I created the community and how people might feel if they don't have access to the information inside of this community. And this is by far probably the best example I can show you. So this person is Nade Straight. If you remember this Nade Straight person, um, if you go to his videos, his most popular video was I lost my job because of AI. Now I've spoken about this before in my post AGI economics community. I've spoken about what this person did wrong if they were in the community, you know, the kinds of things that they could have done. Okay. Now I've spoken about that bit before, but in this recent video, he posted an update seven hours ago and he basically said that, look, I feel like giving up. Now I'm not going to, you know, play the entire video here from you, but here are the cliff notes so essentially he um you know basically talks about you know he lost his job in may due to ai automation he talks about several different factors okay now i want to go through these really quickly with you and then i want to show you guys why i created this group because every single point that he talks about in here is covered by the ai framework okay and i'm going to show you guys why i actually read this every single week to ensure that my career that my life and my business are completely fine in you know the future of AI and this is something that people are not thinking about okay so let's go through some of his points okay so he talks about how he lost his job in May due to automation le leading to months of job searching okay and he also said okay that he applied to over 100 jobs with minimal success and has been to three second stage interviews in the past six weeks but faced rejection each time he also talked about how you know these repeated rejections have led to significant demoralization on the verge of giving up in their career in the design slash creative industry and of course financial stress okay savings are running out with an expectation to be out of funds by november despite efforts to generate income through side products so this person is you know receiving a lot of you know different problems now that they've lost their job to ai okay now one of the first things of course is the job loss like i said before if you were you know paying attention to all of the updates in the community if you're a graphic designer, you could have easily come over to the AI job impact tracker. You could have easily been paying attention to mid journey and some of the AI tools and seen that, you know, certain AI tools here, like I've said, I've put Dali, I've put mid journey and I've put ideagram AI. I'm going to show you guys why this is a crazy tool, but you would have seen that, you know, this is something that, you know, uh, like it really does impact the graphic design industry. And that is an industry that is going to be, you know, impacted one of the most um, in with regards to certain things. Okay. Um, another thing is of course the emotional impact. Okay. The demoralization, if you're part of the community that is, you know, going and focusing on these problems, you're not going to feel as bad because of course you're all in this together. Another thing, okay, financial stress, okay? The financial stress, this is something, like I said before, I spoke about in my post AGI economics community, okay? One of the things I spoke about, I spoke about, okay, I'm just gonna try to see if I can find it here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna, you know, uh, release this, but one of the things I put in the community, okay, I said financial stability check, assess your financial resilience in case of job displacement, focus on savings, emergency funds, and debt levels. Do you have enough money to cover six months of expenses if you are laid off due to AI slash AGI? Now, I personally think this is going to get a lot worse when AGI gets here. I, of course, there's going to be new industries. Of course, there's going to be new things. But I think there's going to be a lot more people that are in the boat that haven't really managed to, you know, think about this stuff. Okay. It's better to be in the boat early now that set sail and is already, you know, deploying their stuff on the new island on the new shore than to be in the last boat that's just trying to get off the island of people. So you can see here. I've said, you know, prioritize saving, okay? And when the, when there's certain skills, prioritize saving, hold off any large investments, okay? If you're in an industry that is high impact, you need to make sure that you have a lot of savings because the future's uncertain. You don't know how to plan. And the only thing you can plan for is that you might not have a job. Of course, you know, you, uh, it's not a doomerism. It's just realism, okay? You just want to make sure that you are, you know, secure for your future. So this was the thing that I said, okay? Prioritize saving. And I made this framework months ago, okay? Now you can see right here, he's talking about his savings are running out. If he, you know, read the framework and be like, okay, I need to save this is something that I need to do. Okay. Now, of course, mental health challenges. One of the things that I experienced, I'm not someone who's mentally weak or whatever, but I did start to get like this kind of, you know, thinking like, like this industry is going away. This industry is going away. And if you have this, you know, like a uh, thing of, you know, you're not going to know how you're going to make money. That is a huge stress of problems. Like I think there was also a study that found that people that own real estate and have money from real estate are like, 80% less stressed than the average person and people that don't have jobs are like just way more stressed than the average person if they don't know how they're going to make their money. So you see right here, um, you know, the mental health challenges, this is a real thing. And I ran this framework through many different, you know, people and references and stuff. And this is why I put in the framework. Okay. I put mindfulness practice in 
Explore mindfulness and stress reduction techniques. These can help you manage anxiety and stay grounded in the present and of course foster emotional resilience, okay? And of course, you know, acknowledge that it's normal to have mixed feelings about the future, okay? Because thriving and stressing, okay, this is something that people, you know, unfortunately, it's gonna happen, okay? If you lose your job suddenly, just like that, you know, that, that's like a real psychological thing, okay? And that's why I put this in my post AGI framework so that, you know, you're not completely worried. Of course, as well, you can see that this person is struggling to transition to new fields due to a resume heavily focused on graphic design and creative roles and, you know, facing rejection for roles that should be in even within reach. Of course, this person is contemplating applying for retail or warehouse jobs as a last resort to ensure financial stability. And of course, he's using video creation as a way to, uh, you know, you know, cope. And he's feeling all of these things for despair. And I put my uh, post AGI framework into GPT-4 and you can see exactly, you know, like how this person could have, you know, he like helped themselves. You can see they could have assessed which aspects of their job are most vulnerable, allowing them to proactively develop in skills of less likely to be, you know, automated. You know, they could have, you know, validated their industry's vulnerability, shifted their area. They could have, you know, used tools to provide, you know, just mindfulness, you know, self-compassion techniques. Of course, they could have ev evaluated their flexibility they could have had their financial preparedness in check. They could have had their opportuni opportunistic mindset in check. So the point here is to not dog on this guy, but the whole reason I made this community and I made this stuff is so that you are not in this position because I know what's going to happen, okay? I know that the, like, the tools that are coming are really good, okay? And they're going to surprise people. It's the reason OpenAI are delaying their products and it's the reason that, you know... Um, like we we have to focus on this stuff and that's why I created this community because I was like I need this stuff like I need to make sure that I'm good okay and if I'm doing all of this work I'm making all these tables and I'm making this framework and I'm writing this down on this like I thought you know what this could be useful to other people and here we are now so this person unfortunately is in that part where they're like you know I feel like giving up I'm gonna write a comment because um I hope they don't give up of course you know you can try and help someone out but the point here is that this stuff is going to happen, okay? And if you're you're watching this video, hopefully you are. Um, the raw reality is that yes, AI is going to displace displace some industries. Some are going to be a lot more. Um, and like I said before, let me just show you guys what IDgram can do because this is beginner level graphic design, okay? And these this is like not a popular tool by any means necessary, but I use this tool almost every day. And I think once, like, imagine all of the companies that currently have graphic designers find out about this tool. So for example, let's say I'm a cafe, I'm, I'm a small cafe in London um, and it's Amy's Cafe, okay? So I'm gonna put, um, let's put a small cafe art that says Amy's Cafe. It's pink and serves coffee okay so let's just do that okay and this is just in a couple of seconds and i literally just thought of that off the top of my head okay so let's do that and let's see how long this takes okay and i remember this is a graphic design tool remember also tools are getting better and better and better um so you have to um understand that as well so the reason i want to show you guys this is because once you see that okay this can really impact graphic design in um you know, uh, a crazy way. Okay, so this didn't do the thing, but this could definitely be used as like a, you know, concept art, stuff like that. So let me see if um, I can do this one more time. Okay, so let me just do a vector design. So I'm going to do a vector, vector art, vector art that says Amy Cafe. It's pink and is coffee themed. So let me just do this instead. This is like two seconds, but you can already see the kinds of things that people are creating here. And the reason I said that this is crazy is because when you think about this, this is like, I'm someone who uses these services sometimes, okay? Like I would use graphic design services. I know people that would use design services. I showed one of my friends that's just completely out of the AI space. And look at this, guys. Imagine you needed, you know, a, a logo for, you know, Amy's Cafe or something. You know, people pay $500, $600. Imagine you're a design agency, okay? And someone finds out about this tool. They're going to go ahead and use these kinds of things, okay? I've said it's pink, it's coffee themed. You could do vintage, you could do minimalistic. Uh, let me do minimalistic, okay? And look at the kind of designs we can get, guys. Look at these logo designs, okay? Do you know how long it takes designers to come up with logos like this, okay? I used to work um, a little bit in the design field when I was completely confused on what I wanted to do like eight to 10 years ago. And this stuff takes a lot of time. You've got to do sketching. You've got to do stuff like that. Of course, there's ways, you know, to speed, speed up the process and stuff like that. But when you take a look at these graphics, it's not like Canva where you have to type things in. It's literally just a simple prompt here. And you can see how good this stuff is, guys. Like, I think tools like this are only going to get better. This this tool, I got to be honest, guys, it's great, but it's not even their best model. Like they've only just started. And the point I'm trying to make here, guys, is that 
This is one industry. It's going to be coming in so many different other industries. Um, and that's what the community is there for. So you can kind of think about how you can move. Now, I think this person, I don't think they're completely screwed. If you're good at graphic design, you can learn other stuff that's going to be way harder to automate. For example, you know, motion design. This person could defi definitely learn motion design and they could um, learn some stuff. I don't know why they haven't tried to do that. Maybe they just don't have the right mindset. I have no idea, but you could definitely learn motion design with After Effects and that stuff. But there's ways to, you know, maneuver and be in certain areas that are just not as automated. So this video, it was a quick one. It was just a raw reality of, you know, looking forward and seeing what things are there. Of course, like as before, if this person was maybe a bit more proactive, they wouldn't be in the position they are now. But that's why I'm urging you guys to, you know, if you like just stay in the community, understand what's coming. I'm going to be posting every single day. I'm going to be updating different things. And if you have different ways on ways that you can, you know, maneuver your community, earn new ways to make money from AI and all of those things, don't forget to leave them um, as well. So this is a quick raw video. Um, I'll leave a link to this stuff, but I just wanted to make this video because it's pretty crazy. It, 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 is pretty, it is pretty crazy on um, how quickly this stuff can happen. And remember, okay, tools can be released tomorrow. Benchmarks can be smashed. OpenAI can release something. So it's always important to stay proactive, even if things don't happen. You have to remember Sora came out of completely nowhere, even when video generation was completely awful. So we really have to stay proactive because when you've got things like Sora can, that can come out of nowhere, OpenAI could be sitting on a huge gold mine that we don't even know. So I want to keep this video as real and as raw as possible. And I want to still give you guys some hope that look, it's not all doom and gloom. And of course, not every industry is going to be completely, you know, destroyed or replaced or whatever. But the point is, is that there is a real, real, you know, thing that's going on here. And, you know, as if you're watching this video, okay, you, you, you're one of the early ones. Okay. So at least you've got that for yourself. So if that's there, um, hopefully you enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.